Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode. In this week's episode we're going to be talking to you about life jackets, why we wear them, how we chose the ones we wear and how to wear them properly. We're also going to show you how to check and maintain your life jackets so let's just get straight to it. So why do we wear our life jackets? So it's always encouraged to wear life jackets when out sailing, however there's no rules and regulations. It's also the skipper's own opinion of when to wear and when not to wear. So some skippers may wear life jackets in rough weather but not in calm weather. On Takazar we choose to wear our life jackets at all time when sailing, regardless of the conditions, and this is why. So if you get into the regular habit of wearing your life jacket every time you leave the dock, you won't forget to put your life jacket on. It removes the discussion about when and who should be wearing a life jacket as everyone's wearing one when we're out at sea. We sail in cold seas, so if you fall in, this can send your body into cold water shock. This can affect your breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, as well as causing panic and confusion. When conditions are good, you can get complacent and start taking more risks. However, one slip or trip could still end up with you in the water. Modern life jackets are comfortable and you forget that you're wearing one. It's a little bit like a car seat belt. If you're not wearing one, you feel like you're missing something. So how to choose a life jacket? There are two types of life jacket. There is the manual one, where you have to pull the cord to inflate, and there's the automatic one, where it will automatically inflate when it is in the water. When you're looking at life jackets, don't get confused between life jackets and buoyancy aids. Buoyancy aids are used for water sports that have a high contact with the water, such as kayaking or skiing. They only have a buoyancy of 50 newtons, which is not enough to pull your head into a safe position above the water if you're unconscious or suffering from cold water shock. Ours are Seagull Active 190. They're automatic and priced at around £80 each. The 190 means that they are 190 newtons. Newtons is a measurement of force, and the higher the newton, the more buoyant the life jacket is. For example, 190 newtons will give a minimum buoyancy of 19 kilograms. Our life jackets are recommended for coastal and offshore sailing and provide enough buoyancy to turn an unconscious or conscious person into a safe position. The general guidelines for coastal and offshore sailing is 150 newtons, so anything above this is good. So do you go for automatic or manual? For sailing, we would definitely go for automatic. If you're unconscious when you hit the water, for example, you've been hit by the boom, the jacket will go off automatically and it'll give you a much better chance of survival. So how do automatic life jackets work? Inside the life jacket is an auto-inflate capsule. Inside this capsule is a water-soluble pill and when submerged in the water will dissolve and activate the spring which will puncture a hole in the gas canister. The gas canister will then inflate the life jacket. So we now come on to how to check your life jacket. So the first thing we do is a visual check on the life jacket. We're just looking for any defects or any wear and tear. So we're checking the material, we're checking the zips, we're turning it over and we're checking all the straps to make sure that they're okay. We're also checking the buckles. We're now going to open the life jacket up, which is from the zips at the bottom, just being careful not to activate the manual release. I've got one that's already open. So this is the auto release capsule here and these have an expiry date on so it's really important to check. This one's out of date so we need to replace it with a new one. So to do that all we do is unscrew it. You'll see that the expiry date is there and we have a new one here. All we do is screw that on. These cost around £10 from a chandelier. It's also important to check that your gas canister um, is still intact. This life jacket has actually been activated, so the gas canister is spent. So if we unscrew that, you'll see it has been pierced there. This is the new gas canister, which hasn't. So. Every time you check your life jacket, you should check your gas canister and just make sure it's okay. There is a weight on it as well, and if you wanted, you could put it on a weighing scale, just a, a kitchen weighing scale, just to make sure that it's still got the gas in it. So we'll replace the new one. 
So all we do is screw that in there. Just hand tight. And there's a little rubber clip here that we just pull over it. That's just to stop the gas canister twisting and to lock it in place when you're moving around. It's also important to check this green clip here. So if the life jacket has been activated with the manual handle, this green clip will fall out and it will show red. So you always need to make sure the green clip's in. Um, if it has been activated with the handle, you can just buy them from a chandelier. They're very inexpensive. On the other side of the life jacket, we've got the manual inflator here. So it's a good thing every year to inflate your life jacket and leave it overnight just to make sure it stays up and you don't have any leaks. If you fell in the water and you needed to top up your life jacket, you can also use this to top it up. We also have a whistle. So we're now going to show you how to wear and how to not wear a life jacket. Test the fit by placing your fist underneath the buckle. If there is a gap between your fist and your clothing, then the life jacket is too loose. If your fist will not fit, it's too tight. A good fit is a snug fit. Also, don't forget to fasten the crotch straps, as these prevent the life jacket from riding up above your head when inflated. They should be comfortable, but fairly tight. Never ever, ever, ever be tempted to put on your coat over your life jacket. If you fall in, it will restrict your life jacket from opening. We've just attended a life jacket clinic held by Colour Coats RNLI. And Gaff suggested that we took all our life jackets with us to be checked. And I was like, no, we don't need to do that because they're brand new. <laughs> Three years old. <laughs> anyway, we took them with us and yet it turns out that they're not as new as what I thought. And actually the auto release capsules were all out of date. <gasps> Surprisingly, 50% of the life jackets checked that day were actually out of date. They also mentioned that some of them had missing gas canisters or the gas canisters were punctured. So please do check yours. So the guys at the life jacket clinic also gave us these leaflets. So this one here is a guide about how to choose a life jacket, how to wear it and how to maintain it. And this one here is a little checklist about how to check your life jacket. They're both great guides, so if you're a passing an RNLI, just pop in and you'll be able to pick them up. Hope you found this video useful. A big thank you to Jeff, Helen, Steve and Elliot from the water safety team of the Colour Coats RNLI. If you would like to donate to the RNLI, you can scan the QR code on screen now or visit their website. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.